issued a tornado warning for southeastern Lee County in central South Carolina, northeastern Clarendon County in central South Carolina, east central Sumter County in central South Carolina until 2 p.m. At 1.35 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles southwest of Woods Bay State Park, or 14 miles east of South Sumter, moving north at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damaged roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southeastern Lee, northeastern Clarendon, and east central Sumter counties, including the following locations, Maysville, Lynchburg, Turpill, Shiloh, St. Charles, and Gable. This includes Interstate 95 between mile markers 126 and 146. Take cover now. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to an interior room or closet on the lowest floor of a sturdy building immediately. Tornadoes from tropical storms or hurricanes can form and move very quickly. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Immediately move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. There we go. The following message is for the following counties in South Carolina, Georgetown, and Williamsburg. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina, Williamsburg County in northeastern South Carolina, until 10 p.m. At 6.09 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to three inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of two to four inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Andrews, Warsaw, Morrisville, Earl, Rems, Nesmith, Henry, Sanford, Lambert, Indian Town, North Santee, and Stuckey. Dangerous flooding from heavy rainfall can be expected, especially near poor drainage areas and other flood-prone locations. It is harder to recognize flood dangers at night, as it will be difficult to determine the depth of the water. Roads may be damaged or washed away. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. If flooding is observed, then turn around, don't drown. COA. COA.
Well, that was the QA. The wind was at one mile The pressure was 29.90 inches and steady. Here are the weather conditions around the Carolinas. Rain has fallen with a temperature of 76 at Elizabethtown, 77 at Whitehill, and 79 at Myrtle Beach. At Jacksonville, it was cloudy oh, with a temperature. Oh, this thing's on the wrong weather radio channel. There. I'm surprised that this W100 actually went off. It's a great kid. I guess FM's not going off. Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina, southeastern Williamsburg County in northeastern South Carolina, until 6.30 a.m. At 5.54 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Hampton Plantation State Park, or eight miles north of McClellanville, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Sample at around 6 a.m. Andrews and Warsaw around 6.10 a.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for Central Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina until 7 a.m. At 6.34 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Winget Bay entrance, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Yonkey South Island and Winnie Bay entrance around 6.40 a.m. The Bourdieu Colony around 6.45 a.m. Georgetown around 6.50 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Georgetown Memorial Hospital. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901.
At 6.58 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Plantersville, or 8 miles northwest of Polly's Island, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Georgetown, southwestern Ory, south central Marion, and eastern Williamsburg counties. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for Western Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina, southeastern Williamsburg County in northeastern South Carolina, until 8 a.m. At 7.32 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Lambert, or 14 miles north of McClellanville, moving north at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Lambert around 7.35 a.m. Andrews around 7.40 a.m. Warsaw around 7.45 a.m. Rems and Morrisville around 7.55 a.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for Central Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina until 8.15 a.m. At 7.37 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Santee Coastal Reserve, or near Yawkey South Island, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Georgetown around 7.45 a.m. Oatland and Plantersville around 8 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Georgetown Memorial Hospital. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Dude, how many alerts are there?
The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for North Central Florence County in northeastern South Carolina, Southwestern Dillon County in northeastern South Carolina, East Central Darlington County in northeastern South Carolina, Northwestern Marion County in northeastern South Carolina, South Central Marlboro County in northeastern South Carolina, until 8.15 a.m. At 7.41 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Marion, moving north at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Marion around 7.45 a.m. Lada, Sellers, and Blue Brick around 7.50 a.m. Oak Grove around 7.55 a.m. Bingham around 8 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Carolina's hospital system, Marion. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. You have got to be kidding me, man. The alerts are just not stopping. Not stopping. Another one. Another freaking tornado warning. This is insane. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina, East Central Williamsburg County in northeastern South Carolina, until 8.15 a.m. At 7.47 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Andrews, or 14 miles northwest of Georgetown, moving north at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Warsaw around 7.50 a.m. Rems and Morrisville around 7.55 a.m. Nesmith and Henry around 8 a.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Dude, this has been like... I have lost count of how many tornado warnings there have been in like the last hour. Holy crap. Oh, never mind. He did count it. A TOR is happening. Nautical miles and coastal waters from Cape Fear, North Carolina to Little River in Lead, South Carolina, about 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds. In and close to the watch area. 8:04 a.m. A severe thunder. Yes. 
sources for the latest severe weather information. Zero to seven a.m. observations at Wilmington. It was cloudy. The temperature was 81 degrees. Issue tornado watch number 688, effective until 6 p.m. This watch includes the following counties in North Carolina, Beaufort, Carterie, Craven, Newport, oh, three more. Hyde, Jones, Lenore, Martin, Onslow, Pamlico, and Pitt. And the following marine locations, Pamlico Sound, Pamlico and Congo Rivers, Hughes and Bay Rivers, coastal waters from Okra Coke and Lad to Cape Lookout, North Carolina, out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Cape Lookout to Surf City, North Carolina, out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. That's a uh, repeating case tornado 84. watch number 688 has been issued from 8.05 a.m. until 6 p.m. for the following counties in North Carolina, Beaufort, Cartery, Craven, Duplin, Green, Hyde, Jones, Lenore, Martin, Onslow, Pamlico, and Pitt. In the following marine locations, Pamlico Sound, Pamlico and Congo Rivers, Hughes and Bay Rivers, coastal waters from Okra Coke and Lad to Cape Lookout, North Carolina, out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Cape Lookout to Surf City, North Carolina, out 20 nautical miles. Okay, the question is if they're going to go off for ILM side. Yep, another freaking TOR. Another one. Dude, what is this? This is insane. Same station, too. This is wild, man. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Georgetown County in northeastern South Carolina, south central Horry County in northeastern South Carolina, until 8.45 a.m. At 8.14 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near the Bourdieu Colony, moving north at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Litchfield Beach around 8.20 a.m. Merle's Inlet around 8.25 a.m. Garden City and Burgess around 8.30 a.m. Socus Tea and Bucksport around 8.35 a.m. Red Hill and Bucksville around 8.40 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Waccamaw Community Hospital. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Dude, there it is. Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for South Central Horry County in northeastern South Carolina oh. until 9:15 a.m. This includes uh, downtown Myrtle Beach, I think. At 8:49 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Garden City, moving north at 50 miles per hour. It does. Hazard: tornado. Source: radar indicated rotation. Impact: flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Myrtle Beach, Surfside Beach, and Spring Mead Pier around 8.55 a.m. 
Sokos T and Myrtle Beach Airport around 9 a.m. For Estbrook around 9.05 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Grand Strand Regional Medical Center. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. This just came on my phone. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Southeast Brunswick. Never mind, I don't think I'm under it. At 9.13 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Yonkwon Beach, moving north at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damaged roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Oak Island, Caswell Beach, Yopon Beach, Ocean Crest Pier, Boiling Spring Lakes, St. James. Southport in Long Beach around 9.20 a.m. Mill Creek and Winnipeg around 9.30 a.m. Bishop and Town Creek around 9.35 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Bolivia and Joshua Memorial Hospital. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs down, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. Another one. Another one. Another one. I just got a notification on my phone that there's another one. This is for Ori County. Oh, Ori. This is for Ori County. Yep, you are. Another one. Southeastern North Carolina, Central Ori County in northeastern South Carolina, until 10 a.m. It came so fast. At 9.36 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Hammond, or nine miles northwest of North Myrtle Beach Airport. Tornado. Source. Radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damaged roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Northtown around 9.40 a.m. Lawrence around 9.45 a.m. Fever City around 9.50 a.m. Sydney and Molly around 9.55 a.m. Clarendon and Williams around 10 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Lawrence Community Hospital. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please send your reports of hail and slash or wind damage including trees for large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington at 1-800-697-3901. Outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a 
Well, guys, it is here, folks. After over four years of EAS captures across all of this time and all of these major EAS events, I finally present to you EAS number 1000. SDR. SDR. Shut up, don't guard. Thank you. 
Well, dang. There goes 99.1.
details, a DTM Friday message was 38.3 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late tomorrow morning to a crest of 48.3 feet Sunday evening. It will then fall below flood stage early Tuesday morning. Flood stage is 42.0 feet. Gotta get a double header, I think. Yep. Yeah. The following messages for the following 